defensive side of the ball, and you don't see that very often. You're right, Coach. He is very good, but the wide receiver on the other side of the ball is also very good. We'll see if he can keep this guy in check throughout the whole game. They line up at the 38. Second down. The Gophers line up at a nickelback. Breedlow set to go to the air. Throw short. He's taken down. Stuckey is walking off the field now, and the trainers are going to have a close look at him. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. Third and one. They line up in an eye. Gets the ball, another big, into traffic, and it's picked off. That interception will be credited to the linebacker. Way to come down with that football. That was not an easy play to make. Well, that's just great hands for a linebacker. He looks pretty good out there catching the football. We've got a first and ten. Single set back for you. Looking to throw on first down. Rolling up to the right side. It falls incomplete. Oh, you can't put those back with your wide open like that. That's just a lack of concentration. You're right, Kurt. And if he makes a habit of it, it'll be a lack of passes going to him. So it's second and ten. Coleman lines up as a single back. Oh, off the fake. Let's it fly. Booster with a takedown. 42. About a five-yard pickup on the old play-action pass. They line up at the 42. Third down, five yards to go. Minnesota sets up with four receivers. Hand off up the middle. He's hit and got away. They'll bring him down at the 39. Not much on that play, and they'll be short of the first. I think the offense thought they'd be able to get past this defense, but they were wrong. So they're going to go for it here. The Gopher come out going three wide. Two moves. He didn't get it. It's not even close. 
Hall probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. yard line. They line up in an eye. Hands it to the back. He shoots him. He's tackled at the 44. Edward gains about five yards on the run. From their own 44 yard line. It's second down. Nebraska lines up with a shotgun set. He's looking to pass. He steps up. He's looking. He'll dump it short. It's complete. And it looks hard at the 48. So the completion goes for about eight yards and a first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw to the new set of downs. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Edward, alone in the backfield. Breedlove, looking to throw on first down. He's tanked it. Daniel with the tackle at the 40. That's a gain of eight. Second and two, ball on the 40. Two tight ends here. Breedlove still has it. Looks. He lets it go. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. That'll make it third down. From the 40-yard line. Third down. The Husker come to the line with their jumbo package. Breedlow sets up the play action, and they couldn't hook up on that one. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. The Cornhuskers line up the punt. Malone is waiting for the snap. He gets it off. Signals for a fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't think we'll see this offense get into a similar situation this time. So you think they'll convert on fourth down if they go for it again? Hey, why not? If you're having to go for it on fourth down a lot, you're not doing so hard, sweetheart. The offense will start at the 20. Paul lines up with four wideouts. Drops back to pass. First are coming. He's in and got away. They bring the quarterback down. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there, and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. Second and long, ball on the 12. Hall lines up in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Ball zips it down the middle. Oh, man, did he take a hit. He looked like he threw that one about as hard as he could. Now, sometimes you have to. You've got to make sure the defense can't get to it, so you put a little extra zip on the throw, just like he did there. I'll tell you what. That ball looks like a missile with laces. Third down. The Gophers are lining up with three receivers. He drops back. He throws it. Incomplete pass. They couldn't pick up the first down, so I'll have to put this one away. The Golden Gophers are lining up the punt and away. Dickerson is back deep to return. He gets it away. Dickerson calls for the fair catch. So the offense takes over, and they'll try to figure out this defense. They forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. It's first down. He's 
looking to pass. Let's it fly. Incomplete. Dickerson was the intended target, so that will make it second down. From their own 46-yard line. Second and ten. One man backfield. seven-yard line, and the halfback's got nowhere to go. It's third down. Minnesota brings in the nickel here. Back to pass. He unloads it, and it's incomplete, but well, they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. Nebraska lining up the punt. Malone awaits the snap. And here's the... Wait a minute, the outback's got it. it. Looks like someone was called for holding. will start at the 47. Minnesota comes out of the shotgun. Ball on first down. Throws it. Got it to the senior. Tackle made at the 46. Minnesota will take their first time out of the half. six-yard line. It's second down at about three yards. Minnesota lines up with three receivers. Coleman up the gun. And they make the stop at the 44-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. They line up at the 44. Third down and a yard. Coleman lines up with the single back. Let's it go. This one will fall incomplete. He should have had that one, guys. Well, that's a lack of concentration, don't you think, Coach? Well, you bet it is, and he'll be reminded of that on the sideline. Sure. Okay. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. They come out of a nickel. They're going to try to get it through the air. Throws down the middle. Off his hands and incomplete. Well, they'll turn it over on downs. And they have to go for it there. Well, sometimes you got to take your chances. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. They'll set up shop at the 44. Looking, throwing right, his receiver has it. Brown brings him down at the 44 yard line. That's a first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. This quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44 yard line. The Husker have three receivers bunched. Inside give, takes on the tackle. The 10, he's all the way, touchdown. Great play call there. They designed that play specifically for the halfback, and boy, did it pay off. They had everything working on that play, guys. The line created a good push, the back picked the right hole, and the defense wasn't there to make the tackle. Next thing you know, you got a touchdown. Seven, Minnesota, nothing. Number 
90, ready to kick. Short kick, you didn't get a hold of that one. Lewis takes it to 15. Lewis is walking off the field now, and the trainers are going to have a close look at him. It doesn't look like it's too bad, but the trainers are going to take a look anyway. Take over at the 26. Go with the shotgun here. Ball on first down. He'll dump this one off. And it's caught. And down he goes at the 31. Minnesota will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 31-yard line. Ball comes to the line with three wide. Ball set to go to the air. Across the middle. And this one falls incomplete. There's a player injured, but it looks like it's just a stinger. Oh, yeah. It looks like he hurt his arm on that play. Third and five. They line up in the shotgun. Ball options out. Ball throws. And that one's incomplete. So they go three and out after that incompletion. They line up to put this one away. Back deep to return. Punts the ball away. Dickerson fields it to 39. At the point. He almost took that thing all the way. Boy, that was nicely executed there, wasn't it, Coach? Yo, Kirk, did you see the lane they created there? Was that a nice job or what? We've got a first and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. The Husker go with the eye formation. Hands it to the back. He's tackled at the 11 yard line. Nebraska just took their first time out. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 11 yard line. Line up in an eye formation. Edward, again. Tackle at the four-yard line. Nebraska will take their second time out of the half. They're four yards away. Here we go. They're in the eye. Yeah, he won't miss that pass too often. He loves firing those in there. It's second and goal. Ball on the four. The Husker come out at a two tight end set. Throws. Incomplete pass. Edwards was the intended receiver on the play. So that'll make it third down. up third and goal. Four yards out. The Cornhuskers come out of the ace formation. Comes across the middle. And this will be caught. Touchdown! This quarterback just keeps producing 
and producing, Kurt. Yeah, that was his 25th touchdown pass this year. Not bad, huh, Coach? Man, not bad at all. This kid could play quarterback for me any day. So the kicker lines up for the PAT. to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Base defense out there against this field goal attempt. They must be thinking fake here. It's up. Well, they tried for three, but they came up empty-handed. six-yard line. second hand. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Coleman takes it to 16. And now we'll see the offense coming out onto the field for their next possession.
The Golden Gophers line up. Nebraska to kick. And this one's away. Lewis fields at the 18. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. Now, let's not forget, they had some things clicking the last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. The offense will start at the 31. Exploded into the backfield. 
It's third and 14. See the punt team. Follow is waiting for the snap. He gets it away. Bottino will be the 17. Oh, right hit. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they go in for the kill. Take it easy, coach. You get excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. Minnesota comes out of the shotgun. Look at the throw. Across the middle. And it falls incomplete. Carter was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Second and ten. Minnesota in a five-wide set. It's third and 11. Minnesota lined up with three receivers. Looking. Deep pass down the right side. This one is incomplete. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. So they're set to punt this one away. Dickerson is deep to receive, and something tells me he's looking for a second return. He gets it off. Dickerson takes it to the 49. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 47-yard line. Line up in the jumbo set. Edwards gets the ball. Tackle made at the 42. Edwards picks up five with the carry. That'll bring up second down. From the 42 yard line. Second down. Side formation here. to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Nebraska sets up in the eye. And this ball game's over. What are your final thoughts on the game, Coach? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. Nebraska faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Nebraska 21, Minnesota nothing.